Hi students, welcome. In this video, we will study about one dimensional flow, two dimensional flow, and three dimensional flow. So, students, see here. Suppose this is a x space coordinate and the flow is along only this x space coordinate at that time the flow is called as one dimensional flow and along this one dimensional flow the velocity component is denoted by q small u as you can see here now suppose this is another y space coordinate and when flow is along this x and y both space coordinates then that type of flow is called as two dimensional flow and y coordinate this y space coordinate has velocity component small v okay now suppose another there is another z space coordinate and when flow in flow is a combination flow is along these three space coordinates that is x y and z then that type of flow is called as three dimensional flow and the z space coordinate is has the velocity component small w okay now let's see the one dimensional flow so here as you can see here this is the x space coordinate and here this is the small u which is the velocity component along this axis and the flow is only flowing in this x uh, in only in the direction of x space coordinate and that's why it is it is called as one dimensional flow so in one dimensional flow as you can see here u that is a velocity component is equal to e to u is equal to f into bracket x comma t okay that is, that means this u is only the function of x space coordinate with fun with time t okay and as you can see here there is no no y coordinate y coordinate and uh, z coordinate that y that's why here v velocity v velocity component is zero and w velocity component is also zero now further see the, here in this one dimensional flow the resultant velocity is given by capital v is equal to under root of u square okay now further see the definition of one dimensional flow the flow in which the velocity is the function of time and one space coordinate in this case x is called as one dimensional flow or 1d flow okay so so now see the example of one dimensional flow is flow through the pipe is considered as one dimensional flow okay now let's see about the two dimensional flow here the x space coordinate and here it, it is the u velocity component here this is y space coordinate and v is the velocity component here in two dimensional flow the here there is the equation u is uh, equal to function of x y and t see here two dimensional flow include uh, is along the x space co a space coordinate and y space coordinate okay that's why here u is the function of x comma y comma t okay similarly here now v is also the function of x comma y comma t okay but here there is no y w, w coordinate space coordinate that's why here w sorry z coordinate that's why here w velocity component will be zero now resultant velocity in for two dimensional flow is given by capital v is equal to under root of u square plus v square okay now the definition of two dimensional flow is here the flow in which the velocity is the function of time and two space coordinates uh, x y is called as two dimensional flow or 2d flow now the example of two dimensional flow are here viscous flow between parallel plates of large extent flow at the middle of the of middle part of aero, airplane wing flow over a long spillway or spillway and flow below long wires so now let's see the three dimensional flow 
here this is the x space coordinate uh, and it has velocity component u this here this is the y space coordinate and has velocity component u here this is the z space coordinate and has velocity component w okay now here u is a function of x y z t v is also the function of x y z t and w is also the function of x comma y comma z comma t okay here the flow is along this uh, all these x flow x space coordinate y space coordinate and z space coordinate that's why this flow is called as three dimensional flow okay now resultant velocity capital v is given by under root of u square plus v square plus w square okay now the definition is the flow in which the velocity is the function of time and three space coordinates so x y z is called as three dimensional flow or 3d Okay, now the examples of three-dimensional flow are um, flow in converging diverging pipes or open channels flow in a river flow at the at a inlet of nozzle okay so students in this video we have studied about uh, one dimensional flow two dimensional flow and three dimensional flow thank you students for watching this video like share and comment for this video and subscribe my channel thank you